We're going to start out today's lesson with a group activity, and this will help us visualize the lesson and connect it to our lives. We're going to start out here with an empty, clear glass jar, and this jar represents the world, the earth that we live in. Now we're going to add some oil into it, and the oil represents the Christians, the people who follow and believe in God. Next, we're going to add some water, and the water will represent the people who do not follow or believe in Jesus. A great observation that happened during this time was that a child noticed how sad it was that such a large amount of water would represent the people who do not believe in and follow Jesus. When we pour our water into the earth, we notice that the oil immediately separates from it. It actually rises up from the bottom to the top. Another connection made from just this moment in this activity is that it could represent the resurrection when Christ returns for his people, where both those who are still living and those who have died go up into heaven to meet him in the air. Even though we're saved and we follow Jesus, we are not perfect. The devil will still tempt us. And this food coloring represents temptation and sin. And sin is anything we think, anything we say, or anything that we do that makes God sad. As we notice that sin and that temptation is falling straight through that oil and down into the water. As we're following Jesus and we're praying and we're listening to what he says, we can avoid those temptations. But Satan's not going to stop there. He's not going to say, that's okay. They're not going to listen to my temptation. He's going to make that temptation look really desirable. This is represented by stirring up the food coloring and making a really pretty coloring. Satan may say, hey, look over here. You have a friend who's really rude and disrespectful to his parents, but he has a great life. His parents give him everything he wants. Don't you think you should be rude and disrespectful to your parents too? Or Satan may say, hey, right now is kind of a boring time in class. Who wants to learn about math? Look how much fun that kid's having goofing off, talking over the teacher. Maybe we should do that. Throughout our lives, we will face troubling and sad times. A troubling time for you could be when you're fighting with your best friend. That's very troubling and concerning for you. A recent sad time for me is when my 13-year-old dog passed away. We're going to put two tablets into our water and oil, and these are going to represent troubling and sad times in our lives. After putting the tablets into our container, we notice that it really starts to disturb the liquid. It bubbles up in the bottom and comes through the top, and it is bringing a little bit of that food coloring with it. Now something to remember is that as Christians, we are not perfect. But when those troubling or sad times come, we can also remember that the Bible tells us Jesus was tempted like we are, but he didn't sin. Therefore, Jesus was able to take the punishment for your sins and mine. And as Christians, Jesus is always with us. If we fall into that sin, maybe by saying something mean to a friend, Jesus will speak to us in a still, small voice, and he will tell us that we're not doing the right thing. When that happens, we can stop what we're doing, apologize to God, and apologize to our friend for doing the wrong thing. Then we need to turn away from what we're doing and start following how Jesus tells us to act. Here's what our group activity looks like after all the troubling and sad times have subsided. Looking at it, we can see that there is still a visible difference between the water and the oil. Our experiment today did use a scientific process. Following God is also a process. We need to read God's Word, pray, worship the Lord, and listen to what He has to say to us. When we do that, there will be a visible difference between how we act and how the people who do not follow Jesus act, just like there is a visible difference between our water and oil.